Hello Capricorn. So great to be with you. My name is Tara and thank you for listening to my podcast and also visiting my channel. My podcast is at the Tarot Cafe and my channel is Tara One Love Coach. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm also on YouTube as the Tarot Cafe as well. So check out my second channel, the Tarot Cafe. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in. So great to be with you today. How's everyone doing? Capricorn. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited for your reading. I'm very excited for your reading because, hmm, I know you've been waiting. You've been waiting for either a special someone for some of you. Others have been waiting for breakthroughs, just things to start moving. Okay. And I do feel that strongly for you, Capricorn. Things are moving. Uh, Things in Every area of your life, finances, money, love, things are coming into fruition for you, into a clear focus so that you can see your way. Because, you know, there was a time you couldn't see your way. There was a bit of cloudiness or some confusion going on, not getting, being a little bit confused in regards to a special someone mixed signals coming through, not understanding those things. But this is a time that you are going to gain clarity and understanding, much understanding on what the hell is actually going on. (laughs) You know, really? Okay, so let's see what the message is spirit has for you. Okay, now remember, it is a timeless reading It's not restricted by uh, the physical time. But it goes by the universal time it goes by how it resonates with you. If you hear something in this uh, podcast video, and you're like, wow, I'm going through this, this is exactly what I'm going through. It's spirit. Your intuition, intuition is bearing witness to the message from spirit. Okay, so this sending blessings to you all out there internationally, all over the world here in the USA. I hope all is well with you. And if not, God is strengthening you during your challenging times. Okay. So let's see what the messages are. Okay, so basically Capricorn, what I'm looking into right now, I'm looking at the energies that are surrounding your situation and see what the message is. What is the encouraging word that spirit has for you? And we have the three of swords. Okay. Uh, You've been through some challenging times, Capricorn, as we discussed a little bit earlier. Great sadness. But at the same time, your spirit guide is coming forth to bring healing. Spirit is letting you know to let go of the past. Okay. And I know for some of you, this is a process. Take it one day at a time, but let it go. Don't hold on to the things or the person that have broke your heart or the people that have broke your heart. Personal growth that comes, it comes with challenges, healing and misunderstandings, being there for those in need. That is the message, the beginning message. And also to know that the queen's energy is coming through. The queen of wands is coming through. So Capricorn, you are a fiery energy. You're coming through with great power, even though you're an earth sign. But whether your moon or rising has a fiery energy to it. You're you're about getting things done. You're about activating the gift that God has deep inside you. 
You're brilliant. You're talented, independent. There's nothing that you can't do. This is a time for you to believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. That is the second message for you. And with all these good things, these good tidings coming through, you're going to flourish. Uh, We have the nine of wands here with prosperity, with increase, um, with abundance. It's coming through for you. You're going to enjoy the fruits of your labor, the hard work that you put in Capricorn will lead you into a prosperous, a life of prosperity. Okay. Hmm. That's a powerful message. And that's prosperity in all areas of your life. Even it will trickle down to your family as well. Prosperity, money, health, spirituality, love, all these things. Spirit is working on these things for you in the spiritual realm and you will gradually see the manifest manifestation of what's being worked on in the spirit unfold as time goes on. Okay. All right. Let's see what's in store for you. So now I'm going to go deeper, a little bit deeper into your reading and see the energies that surround you collectively, Capricorn. Wow. So for some of you, Capricorn, you've been, oh, you've been through a lot. Ooh big shakeup is going on in your life. Uh, yeah, big shakeup has been going on. I just pulled the tower. And it's been an emotional time. It's been and you know, maybe this is why I see the heartbreak going on. So for for some of you have been through a tumultuous time. The king of wands is coming through for you Capricorn. So this is, again, I pulled the queen of wands and now I'm pulling a king of wands. So spirit is letting you know you have the resources there to fulfill your dream. You're coming in as a fiery energy here. For some of you, when it comes to love, this could possibly be a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius coming through. Now, this is someone I see possibly in your past as well with the King of Wands, whether male or female. I already pulled the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this can also be a significant other. Also, whether their moon arising. Pulling the moon, you have Pisces energy coming up. And this is about things that are not quite yet out in the light yet. This is also about your intuition. Also, what you feel, what you feel even before it happens. Capricorn intuitively. So there's an element in your makeup in your personality makeup or your energetic makeup uh, is saying that to follow your intuitive intuition when you feel something in your spirit listen to it um and then we have the page of wands so there is a page of wands a message coming through as well with the page of wands but it's a message in regards to something that you have been working for that will bring working toward that will bring productivity to you or um, possibilities or opportunities that are in your life. You also, and then it's compared with the page of pentacles here. So this tells me that there's a message of uh, opportunity 
possible job opportunity, possible promotion, a possible idea that's coming through that will bring forth prosperity for you. It will open doors to prosperity, okay? And abundance. Again, this is coinciding when I seen the nine of pentacles here, which is about security and prosperity. So again, as I said that you will flourish, yes, you will flourish with prosperity. You have the death card coming up, new beginnings, big changes are coming in, old doors are closing, and a new path is, is about to open for you. It will bring it will bring partnership as well. Okay, so also even in love. I'm also seeing partnership or working together in money and business as well. Something that is going to work for you um, to secure your, your financial dreams. But also in love, there could have been a broken heart. Okay, for those of you that I pulled the three of swords. So there may have been a broken heart, a broken relationship. This tower can also mean a broken relationship. But it also speaks about a new beginning. So if the door has closed on a relationship and something may have not worked out, Spirit is speaking about new beginnings for you. New beginnings in love. Okay? Wow, this is amazing. Well, this concludes the reading. If you if you were able to connect with this reading, please give the podcast a like, a follow, and also give the video. If you're listening to my video on the Tarot Cafe, give the video a like and also subscribe. I would love for you to subscribe as well so that you can get the latest videos that I upload and post. And until next time, God bless you.